Yo, what's good, y'all? It's a trail, and I'm about to go ahead and show y'all, not all, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and show y'all how to control your Xbox with your Google Assistant slash Google Home. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first off, I want to go ahead and apologize for trying to be funny. I don't even know what that was. But yeah, anyways, if you didn't know about this, well, you're going to find out then because it's pretty dope. You should really take advantage of this, especially if you got like a Google Home or anything. If you got a phone, then it's going to be fine or phone or a tablet. But you know, if you got like a Google Home Mini, Google Nest Mini, Google Home Hub, Google Nest Hub, or a Google Home Max, any of that stuff that got Google Assistant, then yeah, you definitely got to turn this on. And it's actually been out for a while now for like Alexa and Cortana. I'm pretty sure Cortana is like the first one because, you know, Microsoft, Xbox, Cortana, you know how it goes. I'm pretty sure Cortana is about to be discontinued pretty soon, though, if I'm being honest. So if you want to see this video, but with Alexa, then let me know. I probably just activated my Alexa, so uh, sorry, and probably yours too. So yeah, this is the real deal. This isn't no beta or anything. This is like all official. All the bugs are ironed out for the most part. I heard it was in beta for a while, and I literally just found out about this, so. Oh, yeah but yeah let me go and show y'all yes it's a galaxy fold for anybody new i know if you're not new here then you probably already know about my galaxy fold gotta flex it right you know what i'm saying gotta flex it okay anyways let's just get into this man i'm dragging this out for way too long so it's actually pretty easy and once you do this you can use it with your phone your tablet like i said your google homes or your google nest home or whatever it's called but it's actually pretty easy and it might actually show up up here so if it actually shows up here then go ahead and tap on that it showed up for me that way, but I went ahead and cleared this out so I could show this example. But if it don't show for you, it's pretty easy. All you got to do is go and tap on this plus button here. Go ahead and tap on set up device. On the works of Google, tap on have something already set up. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can search for it if you want to. I don't know why you would do that, but I'm going to just look up Xbox. So we'll look that up real quick and then it should show up right there. So go ahead and tap on that. And then you're going to sign into your Microsoft account. I don't know why it's showing up Chrome because I got Samsung in there as my default. So, But signing with the same Microsoft account that you got on your xbox so now i got my email all i gotta do is type in my password y'all ain't gonna see that though obviously tap on sign in and then you should be done now right okay it says signing in link in your xbox account okay so just go and wait for that however long that takes and couldn't update the setting check your connection all right let me do that again that was weird tap on sign in let's try this again fingers crossed oh man okay so it actually worked that time so now all i gotta do is just back out of here refresh and your xbox should show up in this list so pretty much all you gotta do now is just wait for that to load and then scroll all the way to the bottom it should show xbox tap on that and then assign it a room so i'm gonna go and click on home add to a home click on next and then click on move device and move it to my room click on next again and we should be good now right device was moved let me go ahead and go over to my room real quick and where is it there we go so under my bedroom light and my tv and all that i can see my xbox i can't do nothing with it but i can like see it all right let me go to my room and i'll show y'all this so this is where the magic happens no i'm not talking about that but i want to go and show y'all some google assistant commands you can use with the xbox but check this out real quick but before we do all that we actually need to get on the xbox real quick and change a few settings so what you want to do is go and grab your xbox controller or however you control your xbox press the xbox button and go over here to the system go ahead and click on settings and then right here in general go over here and click on power mode and startup so when you get there go ahead and make sure instant on is turned on not energy saving because it's not going to work then make sure instant on is selected so once you do that go back here go over here and scroll down to devices and streaming and then go over here to digital assistance and make sure this is on too and if it's not on it's not going to work so make sure that's on and then you can go ahead and close it and you're done so this is my google nest hub right here and i can actually control my xbox with this and pretty much everything you see right here is what you could do with the xbox but here's the thing so we get these controls on here but we don't get it on our phone or tablet that don't make sense but I mean, it is what it is. So we get all these options right here. Like we can go ahead and turn on or off the Xbox. We got play and pause, rewind, stop and fast forward. And then we got the volume controls here. So I don't got a smart TV, okay? I mean, I do got a Samsung 6 series in my living room, but I only got a regular Vizio TV in my room. But this actually works by the Xbox control on the TV. So that's dope. And then we get this last menu here, which is literally the same thing as the first menu, but it don't got none in it. So I'm assuming this is a beta or something in this screen, but that's weird. But yeah, anyways, I can go ahead and turn off my xbox like if i go and turn off right now watch this okay you just saw it turned off and my tv just turned off so that's dope and then i'll go and turn it back on 
Yep, I know y'all just heard that. And now you can see the Xbox is back on. But like I said, you got playing pause and all the other good stuff. But here's the volume, so I can go ahead and try that real quick. You can see I'm tapping it right now and it's changing. So every time it turns up the volume, it goes up by three. Turn down the Xbox volume. See what I mean? It goes sure. down by three. Now, unless you got a smart TV, you can't say turn down the TV volume, otherwise it's not gonna understand it. You gotta tell it some sort of command similar to this. But there's actually one more thing you can do with this, and I use it all the time, but you can actually open apps and games on the Xbox or Google Assistant. Hey, open YouTube on Xbox. That's so dope. Hey, open Fortnite on Xbox. Dope. Launching on Xbox. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, what I probably use most is the playing pause feature, so hey, pause the Xbox. And it just works like that. And you can even see the Google Assistant logo here at the top. I mean, barely, but you can see it. Hey, play Xbox. And just like that. Shout out to Graham Stephan, by the way. I watch his videos all the time. But yeah, pretty much you get the gist of it. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe for me. But thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. And peace out.